Hey everybody, welcome back for another Divinity playthrough with Game to Twix. I know it's been a minute or two since I last posted one of these, so I'm happy to get back to them. Um, we managed to get the collar off of Beast, and now we've just kind of been running around fighting the guards, all that good old stuff. And we're about to get our hands on some spell books from Rezik, who supports the bandits that we killed. If you attack him, actually, the bandits rush to his aid. And to me, that makes him a fairly unsavory character, and he's got some spell books I want. So we are going to be attacking him, which is going to get us in combat with a lot of the village here, get us a little bit of free XP, but beyond that, get us some pretty good items that we'll be able to use in some spell books. So without any further ado, we're going to kick this fight off and this playthrough part seven, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Boom. Okay, let's start this fight, sir. Um, I'm going to move my microphone real quick, guys, because like a dummy, I just realized I'm cutting off part of my skill tree that I can access. So we're going to move on up to him, and we are going to shocky-walky. Perfect. And I'm going to shoot a nice shard at us. Big whoopity-doo. Um, we are going to move Fane this way to engage the rest of the town really that's going to be trying to fight us um, which is not that difficult to beat as long as you don't allow them to swarm if you allow them to swarm you there is actually a pretty decent chance that they will be able to cause some heavy damage they won't be able to kill you necessarily but it becomes a pain in the ass really really quickly so we're going to be trying to avoid that by putting as many passive damage dealers and negating as many churn base abilities as possible from them. So, first things first, we've got bleeding on him. We are just going to attack him. We're going to try to get bleeding on them here in a minute, but he's dead. He's down. Perfect. That's what we want. We're going to throw our shield to Rezik. Awesome. Then we're going to activate our flaming daggers. And we're not in range. We're going to try to walk across the ice. We do so successfully. Perfect. 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 And we're going to take a little bit of damage here, but it's not too bad. He actually does have a weapon, so we have to kind of keep an eye out for him. She does not, but she is persistent, as many of these people are here. And we are going to just hit the again and stab him one more time. Perfect. He's almost down. Don't know why Myra's getting him so quickly, but eh. Not gonna complain. Um, she kind of wasted her ability using it on that particular thing. We're gonna hit him. Did not knock him over. Did not do half as much damage as I thought I was actually gonna do. He's got a backstab critical on me. Beast does not really care. We're going to give them bleeding hopefully here. Uh, what we want to do with our other ability? We want to, yeah, we want to zappy. Can we zap Rezik? We can. Okay, apparently we can't zap Rezik. I don't know how I missed that one, but I did. Sweet, okay. We are just gonna blow everything up at this point. Perfect, burning, burning, burning. We're gonna burn you some more. And then just to add insult to injury, we're going to hit you. And the game's acting a little weird tonight, guys. I don't know what's up with it. If it keeps doing this, I'll restart it. Um, obviously, I'll save it before I restart it so I don't have to redo all of this. But that was kind of odd. Yeah, it's not... It's not doing the, an, it's not doing the animations. So I'm going to finish this fight. And then I'm going to save it, and I'll back out of the game and get back in. So you will see a little cutoff in the footage. Like, it may not look entirely natural, but that's going to be why. Because, yeah, I'm not I'm not playing it if I don't get to see the animations the entire time I'm playing this. But it shows me beasts, so I don't get it. But it's okay. So Myra's going to be moving back in. She's going to try to kick Fane. She's going to miss. Fane is just going to wallop <laughs> Myra, Walloper again. Uh, you can just finish him very easily, and then we're gonna attempt to get bleeding on Myra. Because I'm again 
just as I said, is a really good way to play characters like this. Um, summoners, you just want to outnumber the enemy. Like, it's literally the easiest way to win a fight. Yeah, and like, even then, that skipped over me attacking her. Okay, I need to restart this game. Um, we're gonna heal up real quick, that way I don't forget to do so. So really, the only one who needs to be healed is... Oh, herself. Okay, perfect. Everyone else is healed up. We are gonna save this under an autosave, because I don't really care right now. And I'm gonna exit out, and I'm gonna turn the game back on. Okay, everyone, we're back. Um... I had to restart the game real quick just because it wasn't showing all the animations for the different attacks. It was like skipping frames, which I didn't really understand. It was also making me skip over um, characters I was trying to attack, which was also weird. Like I'd click on them, but as I clicked on them, the frame would change and I wouldn't be clicking on them anymore. But it wouldn't activate till like it was too late to change it. So it was just weird. But it seems to be working better now. It'll be something I'll keep monitoring, but I think it was just kind of just being a little glitchy, if I have to be so honest. Um, whoops, wrong button. There we go. Um, okay, so spell-wise, rain, all of those good old spells. I don't think... Yeah, he can. Um, so we're going to learn Armor of Frost, we're going to learn Winter Blast. Ice fan, suit, and cold. We're just gonna learn all of them, and it looks like all of them actually were able to be equipped to our taskbar, which is awesome and kind of unexpected. But I will definitely take it. Um, boots, actually, boots. He does not have boots, and I've been doing a lot of frontline fighting with him, so we're definitely gonna give him those. Um, she can definitely use the leggings. I mean, he could too, but we're not going to go that route. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, we're going to go back on to our quest, though. So, we got all the books from him, killed some people, yada yada. Are we good or bad? I don't know. I just know that the more stuff I have, the better chance I have of actually winning this game at the end of the day. So, we're going to go over here and then we're going to go right here. I don't think they'll detect me, but maybe they will. We'll find out here in just a minute. Uh, nope, they won't detect me. So, we're actually going to start a fight with them because that fight is actually going to be a little easier than one of the other fights we're going to be doing here. So, so why not level up a little more? get some more XP and some better gear attacking these magisters. And yeah, link back up as a group. Okay, everyone get up here. Because we're gonna have to lure the magisters out and around and then we're gonna have to engage in a fight and everything else. So, um, L, I want you over here because you're gonna be casting stuff uh, like that. We're going to click on one, and we're going to zap him. And that did not initiate a fight, which is odd, to say the least. Um, an incarnate attack. There we go. Okay. Now we've got a fight, but apparently it appears no one else is in the fight. So, there we go. Lastly, Fane. That's actually okay that Fane isn't in the fight. He can get in the fight down here, if I'm going to be so honest. So, we're going to go back to the fight. Whose turn is it? It's Elle's turn. Okay. So, she is going to cast another one of these. And then she is going to cast... Oh, sorry, guys. Um... Take you, and I'm gonna drop you all the way back here for fun. It's gonna fortify, which is fine. I'm gonna attack my opportunity, which is gonna take away pretty much the entirety of his fortify. He's gonna cause L, bonus L. He is gonna cause bleeding and do some damage. 
courage. Eh, not really too concerned. Okay, source Hound. do that throw and then back because I don't want to get hosed. Um, Beast is going to kind of do the same thing. He's just going to run up here. He can't hit anyone for some reason so we're going to have to go all the way back here then. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe he's just too short. Huh. Odd. He's going to keep taking take damage just because that's what he does. We're going to start running this way because they're all going to end up coming around the corner simply because that's where Fane is and that's the only person they can actually hit at the moment. So um, it's definitely just going to be like spamming, kind of getting ready for them to hit Fane, setting up as many totems as possible, um, and just really making it, making sure that when they get to Fane, they, they're having to run through fire, they're having to take a lot of damage from other sources and everything else um, before they're even able to start trying to hurt Fane. Because Fane can take them. It's just, again, something where you want to make sure he's taking them on his terms, not on their terms. Okay, Ricochet's fine. It only had a couple people. Um, Fane is going to... I make you bleed? Yeah, I can definitely get bleeding off on you. So that's going to be yet another thing. going to poison him, which is going to cause even more damage. Of course, the dog's going to bite the totem, but that's not the end of the world, to be fully honest with you. Uh, L is going to do soul bond and get some blood going. She's going to zap that person too. Perfect. Now we've got the dog bleeding. So again, we're just stacking negative modifiers. Name of the game for me. Negative modifiers, negative modifiers, passive damage, all that good old stuff. Again, just stopping them from attacking, period. And making sure while they can't attack me, they are all taking tick damage at the same time. Because why not? Perfect. So I managed to freeze one of the characters, too, on top of everything else that's going on. Um, Fane isn't even going to move up, actually. There's no real reason to. Um, like, they have to run to the fire to get to me or run through the ice. And they can't really target me with anything that actually is going to hurt me all that much. So we're just going to do that. And we're going to throw a shield at the archer. Do quite a bit of damage. And just end the turn. And again, I mean, these are AIs trying to make the best out of these situations, which currently are very negative situations because of the position I've managed to put the AIs in. There's not a lot of ways that they can easily win these fights. And beyond that, there's even fewer ways that they can, like, actually engage me effectively. Um, oh, wow, that's surprising. They were just ran right past Fane. Okay. Well, that's... Actually, not terrible for me. I'll do a backstab critical on you, and then I will zap you, because why not? And Fane... Yeah, I mean, he can move up and hit you, and then do an all-out attack, and do poison damage. Like, again... I'm not, I'm losing very little and I'm gaining a lot currently with how this fight, with really how these fights just period are going at the moment, so. And I like that because that's how you know if you're planning these effectively. Is mine. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I am going to, anyway, breathe fire. Uh, Beast can take it. Yeah, see, Beast can take it. Um, that's the end of that. Down, 
that's fine. Dog's bleeding again. Um, so we are going to... Yes, I know. But I don't need to do that. I am just going to heal her. And then I am going to make a burning incarnate. And then we are going to also encourage to boost my stats, to boost the incarnate stats. And, oh come on, I put that incarnate in the fire. How did it not end up being a fire incarnate? Well, he just survived two attacks of opportunity and apparently is all turned around now and missed me with his one attack. That's funny. Um, okay, six. Yeah, so that'll stop the burning pretty quick. And then we're going to just... I see no reason not to petrify him. Perfect. Can't attack me. Good enough for me. Get me out of here. Dead. Barely any damage taken. Move on to the next one. And I mean, again, this is how you know you're engaging correctly. This is how you know you're doing team comp right. It's when the opponent's AIs are so confused about the way you're fighting that they don't know how to counter what you're doing. Um, you know you're doing it correctly. Like, hands down, this is like grade A plus, like, tactical decision making right now. And that's why... The, uh, the AIs are responding to me in the way that they are. And that they're bypassing Fane, who's very easily accessible to them, because he's the least attractive target right now because of the two-handed weapon and his armor and everything else. Like, L is currently their target, who they have difficulty even reaching, and some of them can't reach, like the dog, um, because she can actually cast totems, which is what's doing the vast majority of the damage in combat right now. But she's also retreated far enough to where, yeah, she's not really taking much in the way of damage, like, period, so. How did I get poison? Oh, yeah, I get poison the flask, that's how I get poison. I mean, he should just outright die, um, so I'm just gonna zap the Magister. And then he's just gonna rush that one, knock her over, and then whack. We get a whack again, apparently. Boom, dead. Executioner. Got those bonus points. Climb up the ladder. And end turn. And end turn. And you can kill him. End turn. Uh, L can kill Magister Holland. Perfect. Piece of cake combat. Right. Bonus XP. I should get some Magister equipment out of all of this on top of it, which is going to be perfect. Um, I could be wrong on that, but typically these people give you a decent amount. Yeah, so even if I'm not getting Magister gear, I am getting... Ooh, Magical Crossbow kind of makes me wish some of my people used Crossbow. Um, but I mean, just the fact that I'm getting some mid-upper tier gear. Oh, there you go. It's important. Um, plus the fact that I'm just like... Again, it's more XP. Um, you can't let this game get away from you with the XP game. It, you just can't. It doesn't work that way. If you start losing the XP game, if you start losing that entire battle that you're going to have throughout this game to make sure you're leveling up effectively before getting into large fights, you're going to lose the game. You're not going to be able to keep it together. You're going to start losing. You're going to start struggling. And eventually it's going to cause you to have to restart the entire game because now you can't. I mean, literally, you can't win. A uh, door. I can't forget when these keys open the door or if I'm going to have to use Fane. Oh, I gotta lock it. Which could take me to another encounter, but I, I really don't want to do that encounter till later today. on because it is not an encounter that I'm going to easily win at this level. So I am gonna wait on that. However, that mace, seven to eight damage. Yes and no. Um, however, I will gladly give him the mace because he needs it. Um, sweet. And now let's open up some of these chests. 
locked. That means it's a job for Fane. His bony ass fingers. Perfect. Frustration swirls, more gold, never a bad thing. Gold's always a positive in this game. Uh, read. Okay, just learn how to make a resurrection scroll. Which, the first time we played this game, I scoffed at that idea. I was like, why will I ever need to make this? And then I actually played the game, and I was like, oh my god, this scroll is a lifesaver. Just like, hands down, it's a freaking lifesaver, man. So, again, scroll, I'm very happy to be getting. <sighs> I definitely want to be happening. And everything else. Okay, so which one of these guys is my bartering one again? That would be Mr. Lizard. So let's move everything we want to sell into the Red Prince's bag so that he can get us a better price on it. Uh, the teeth, the gems, no rain, we don't need that. Um, we don't want the leggings anymore. I just want the teeth out too. Can't use the poison arrow. Um, don't need the shirt, don't need the knife, uh, don't need the makeshift club, I think that's everything for now from there, don't need turtle's claw, don't need the pocket dagger, uh, don't need all of these clothes, god fame has a shit ton of clothes. Uh, yeah, that kind of is everything there. Um, sorry about that, guys. I did that by accident. Okay, Amidst the crowd of screws, and bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. Four, one, two, the shield, and that. Okay. So that looks like everything in the 782. Um, she does not have any shields. There's nothing from her that I necessarily want at the moment. So I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to go to the cave. Of course, I have to interact. And what do you ask Take care of you. Um, okay, cause I really don't want to interact. Alright, come on. Right down here, sir. We want to get in this cave. We want to trade with our lizard brethren that doesn't like us because I believe. Oh, God, guys. Sorry. It's only 2.30 in the morning. I should not be this tired. 2.13, actually. Not even 2.30. Um, but typically he has some pretty good gear to be trading with. So we want to talk with him. Me, pig prince. Now! Um, can I not trade with him if I'm the Red Prince? I can't, apparently. Well, that's awesome. The so soldier stands to we're going to try to trade with him. And, yeah, he has the shield we want. I think that's it, really. That's just kind of a waste of money at this point. Uh, how much is the belt? 73, we can afford that. Uh, and that too. Sweet. It's going to match it with cash. Accept your offer and perfect. Okay, so. You are going to want that shield and the belt and the gloves. It's going to go to the lizard. Perfect. So, yeah, Beast is really starting to get kitted out now, which is awesome because that's what we want to see. So, we're going to start that other fight now. Um, I keep forgetting I can't click on the mini map on this version. To be able to like travel quickly and everything which is rather surprising actually to be honest with you um but that's totally okay though it's okay it's not a bad thing so we're gonna go in here 
And we are going to start some fights now. I'm all turned around. What am I doing? I'm going this way. Um, and we're going to start some fights with the Magisters that are a bit more soldier-like. Um, but again, it's not going to be the end of the world or the hardest thing. So let's see if we can pick the lock. But this should get us level up, if nothing else. Like, this should get us level up 100% by the end of this fight. Oh. Do, do, do. So these are the holding cells. Um, we're going to save it just in case if the game decides to screw up again or pause or anything else. I definitely don't want um, to lose all the progress we just made. So we're going to continue on now. Sorcerer! What do you think you're doing? Prowling around? Ha! And what is it you think? You ha! You're beating the shit out of your own people. Speaking. He looks you. Our hands oh, are yeah, numb. Yeah, yeah. You. Bring your hands. Bring it. Bring it. Of course, elves are going to to go. This isn't really what I wanted, but oh well. It's just the end of the world. Can't bleed him, can you? Um, okay, we are gonna start this off with an ice fan. And we are gonna ice both of you in hopes that you guys will just start tripping over yourselves now. And then we're gonna end our turn with him. The Rangers are gonna come, they'll be able to. Ooh, man, they can hit my whole party. That is not something I was wanting to be happening. Poison failed. Uh, poisoned. Perfect. The black screen scared me for a second. I totally thought the game just crashed. Um, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you again. So the dog should auto die. And these guys are slipping on ice. Okay. So we are gonna get a six. We are going to make an ice one. And then we are going to cast this one as a fire one. Because the fire one is really going to be wrecking shit. And the fire one is going to kill the dog. And then he is going to cast fireball over there. You know, have the hound master on fire, which is where we want him. And now he's standing in fire on top of it. Even if he's using courage, that's not really going to matter. Um, and now we just get to start beating the crap out of everybody, which is perfect. Got him. Uh, let's petrify him so he can't do anything in this turn. Perfect. And we are going to just move towards the archer, to be honest. Those two put together can easily take care of him, to be fully honest with you. So I'm not going to sweat it about the Houndmaster or anything, because I don't need to be. Um, look, we, and we are going to attempt to cause bleeding. Yep, bleeding to the Master Ranger. Perfect. He's going to try to run away. He's going to have to run fire, which is going to cause damage to him. Um, and yeah. Six up there. And then we are going to cast a shocking punch on the Houndmaster. We're going to shock him. Again, we're going to be just causing passive damage to all of these little buggers. We're going to burn him some more. We're going to blast him with some daggers. Again, just stacking those damage sources, stacking them up to the fucking ceiling. Whack him because I really don't like him. He's dead. Perfect. So now the hardest opponent is already dead. This fight's going actually way easier just because I've done it so many times with weaker parties than my current party um, that it just seems like it's like a million times easier right now. It's kind of funny. Fane's taken quite a bit of damage. I don't really want. So Fane is just going to back. 
all the way over here. Um, and then he is going to blood suck her the little bit of blood around her. It's just much, but it's enough. This archer gonna nope, he's not gonna get the drop on Fane. I thought he was maybe gonna try. Okay, perfect. And then we are gonna cast yet another one of these. I'm ready. Another fire totem. Blast him, which is fine. Okay, you can cripple L. I really don't care. It's probably the worst target they could have picked. But again, I'm not gonna complain. Um because, like, them picking bad targets is majorly helping me, just period. Um, yeah, let's just keep running that way. Winter Blast. Chilled, which is perfect. Um, we're gonna do shields up on ourselves. Just to make sure that we can't get killed at the moment. Two arrows. Fane's uh, just gonna keep backing. Uh, she'll just heal herself. Pass yet another one of these. This time one blood. Bleeding, no bleeding got blocked by physical armor, which is fine. Because um, again, bleeding isn't the main purpose. Again, it's just doing that damage, stacking, whittling away the whole shebang. Uh, he can't hit her, but he can get right next to her practically. Can kind of let him burn. Light him fire again, again. Just right now, a bunch of extra movement shenanigans isn't really going to be worth it when you're trying to light fire. Please, of course, of course. They beat me for help. There's a boat that, but they'll kill. <coughs> I, yeah, we're gonna be nice and I help feel it him. At work. There is. You'll meet some associates of mine. You've given me a second life. Well, thank you. I'm glad. I guess thank I could you. give you that second I life. I'm not really sure if I am. I though, will but I guess settle I'm glad. this day. Walk through the poison. Poison, poison, pum 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 poison. Okay, I, th I think everyone else is up to full health, to be honest. Um, so sweet, so we are going to look at what the Magisters had. So, some cash. This guy is going to be kind of the big one, the Hound Master. So he had a Firestone Grenade, he had a Talon, Magical Elven Water Staff, he had Contamination, which we are giving to Fane right now. Because that is a spell he can totally use. It allows him to poison multiple sources and multiple targets. Uh, Shadow Essence, I was kind of hoping for a shield, but you know, can't get everything you want, I guess. Um, okay, and then we're going to check the Master Ranger, and then we're going to call it quits, because I know I've already been on here quite a while, even with having to shut the game on and off. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. This is part 7. We're going to be going to part 8, where we're going to continue invading this castle gonna level up possibly level or two at one particular moment we're gonna fight this really weird experimental torture dude and everything like a lot of crazy stuff is gonna be happening but i hope you guys enjoyed what you saw please be sure to leave a like a share comment subscription whatever it happens to be guys i appreciate all of it so have a great rest of your night guys and i will see you next time